Facebook for a long time. Na tunakaribia kumaliza and we are almost finishing it. Baada ya somo hili la leo limebakia somo kama moja hivi. After today's lesson. Limebakia somo moja. There's one more lesson. Amen. 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 Kwa hiyo twende katika Biblia zetu katika uh, ile waraka wa kwanza ya Yohana sura ya 5 mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 5 tulikwisha kusoma. Let's go in the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 1 to 5. Biblia inasema kila mtu aaminie kwamba Yesu ni Kristo amezaliwa na Mungu na kila mtu ampendaye mwenye kuzaa ampenda hata yeye aliyezaliwa na yeye Katika hili twajua kwamba tuwapenda watoto wa Mungu tupendapo Mungu na kuzishika ambi zake Kwa maana huku ndiko kumpenda Mungu kwamba tuzishike ambi zake wala ambi zake si nzito Kwa maana kila kitu kilichozaliwa na Mungu huushinda ulimwengu na huku ndiko kushinda uh, kushinda kushinda kwa ulimwengu hiyo imani yetu mwenye kushinda ulimwengu ni nani isipokuwa ni yeye aaminie kwamba Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu amen uh, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has has become a child of God and everyone who loves the father loves his children too we know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments Loving God means keeping his commandments and his commandments are not a burden. For every child of God uh, defeats this uh, evil world and we achieve his victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the son of God. Hallelujah. Kila neno katika Biblia unayosoma lina umuhimu wake na lina sehemu yake. Every word that you read in the Bible it has its own uh, meaning and its importance. Kwa hiyo leo tunasoma maneno fulani ambayo yatakuwa na uzito wa kipekee katika maisha yako. So today we're going to learn about something that might be uh, very heavy in your life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hiyo kama unasomaga tu Biblia unasoma tu unapita tu unapita tu So if you've been reading the Bible and you just read and read but you don't even remember what you read. Napenda nikutie moyo uanze kusoma kwa kuangalia kila neno katika yale unayosoma na kujiuliza hili neno lina maana gani. I would want to encourage you that whenever you read the word of God just to ask yourself every time you read the word and ask yourself what is the, does this word means? Kusoma kitabu cha Yohana kinazungumza sana habari za kuamini, habari za upendo, habari za Uh, uh, yes habari za kuamini na habari za upendo when you look in the in this book first john it talks about faith and love amen amen, amen. na, na hayo, hayo maneno yana umuhimu wake na sehemu yake and those things are important they have their own place na hasa kusoma katika huu waraka especially when you read in this uh, book anateganisha Yohana kati ya wana wa Mungu wana wa Mungu waliozaliwa na Mungu na wale wana wa Giza he differ, uh, differentiates those children of God and the children of darkness haleluya amen matumaini yangu kadi unaposoma uh, waraka huu unazidi kuelewa wewe uko sehemu gani it's my hope that as we read this that you will understand where you, you are Mungu anataka sisi wote tuliopo hapa na nje ya hapa tuwepo katika ufalme wake God wants that everyone who's here and everybody who's out there for us to be in his presence lakini ulimwengu na yeye uko na mambo yake unavuta upande mwingine but the world has its own things too also that draws us to itself hallelujah amen jumana katika safari hii tunajifunza gps ya safari huko vita that's what we're learning about the gps of uh, the journey and there's a there's a war sio safari rahisi It's not an easy journey. Sio safari ambayo kila mtu atasema twende. It's not a journey that everyone will say let's go. Hata watu tunaoishi nao ndani ya nyumba yako wenyewe wanaweza kuleta shida kwenye safari. Even the people that live in your same house might bring a problem on this journey. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Lakini leo tunataka tujifunze neno linasema kuushinda ulimwengu. But today we, I want us to learn a lesson called of coming this world. Kuushinda ulimwengu. Of coming this world. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sasa tuko tayari eh? Are we ready? Amen. Amen. Kama uko tayari If you already wave your hand in the air. Amen. Amen. So I know that you and your neighbor there. When your neighbor is asleep, wake him up. Amen. Amen. If they can't uh, stay away, ask them to stand up. Amen. Amen. Because these few minutes are very important in your life.
Yes. Jaribu pia wamekuletea fried chicken na fries. Just imagine they just brought you fried chicken with fries. Na kila kitu kiko tayari afu unalala. And everything is ready by your sleep. Do you understand? This is a spiritual moment to change your life. So just imagine at this moment, uh, uh, this is the spiritual uh, part that can change your life. Amen. Amen. God here has prepared us like a fried chicken. So there's no time to waste your mind on other things. Jesus. Today I want us to learn about overcoming this world. Why should we overcome the world? Because the world is against everything of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you have friends, you have siblings that they, they don't want you to continue in a journey. I want you to look as a someone who's on a different side. They are not on the same journey that you are going through. Don't just say that this is my parent who loved me even when I was in school. They loved me greatly. Why now that I'm serving God and I'm working in the church, I'm being uh, uh, objected? What is important is that you have decided what is of the light of God. You have moved. Amen. Amen. In the book of Colossians, he said that he saved us, he took us from darkness. And moved us to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you are saved, my fellow, you have moved you're not the same place where you were. There must be a different. Amen. 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 There's people who are struggling. You go home and like, oh, what is the too much problem when I say something about God with my wife? It becomes a problem, an issue. If you really love God, the problem are just two things. Number one, either they're not saved, or maybe they're saved by the living, on the living flesh. Do we understand? So the person who is on the other side is being uh, used by the world. And you who is on the other side, God wants to use you. God wants to reign in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I've Discuss something very important about reading the word of God. And there are three things that are being written here. And it's very important that we define them. Hallelujah. Amen. On, on your paper it says uh, defining key terms. Number one, world. And many of us would think that maybe it's this world that we see with our eyes. But when we read the word of God, we see something that we see with our eyes. What we are talking about here is more than what we can see or touch or feel or even eating or walking on. It's very different. Amen. Amen. Mtasema kwa Kiingereza tafsiri hizi tatu na kisha ndugu yangu atatafsiri kwa Kiswahili. Yes. Okay. Amen. Kwa hiyo namba moja dunia au the world. Number one, the world is a spiritual system that is opposed to God. A spiritual system that is opposed to God. Amen. Amen. Okay. The system ya kiroho ambayo inamkana ambayo inamkana Mungu. Yes. 
au kwa Kiswahili tunasema mfumo system mfumo amen amen namba 2 overcome au kushinda namba 2 overcome is this to rise above an obstacle ni ku uh, inuka juu ya kizuizi rise above an obstacle kuinuka juu ya kizuizi namba 3 namba 3 faith au imani faith trust in the unseen for the unseen kuamini katika yasioonekana kupitia kwa ajili ya isioonekana amen 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 tupige makofi Sikuingine ni nyimbo kwa msimamo wako. Amen. Sasa turudi tuangalie hizi tatu kwa kwa undani kitu. So let's look at these three key terms in in depth. Kwa hiyo dunia ni mfumo ambao unapingana na Mungu. So the world is a system that opposes God. Nimekushawahi kusomea wa Efeso sura ya 2. I already read to Ephesians chapter 2. Hasa ile mstari wa 2, verses 2. Ambapo Paulo anazungumza na Waefeso anasema hivi kwamba ndani ya zamani ilikuwa chini ya Mungu wa dunia hii. And Paul says that you even a while ago you were under the, the prince of this world. Mungu wa dunia hii anajulikana ni shetani. The prince of this world is known his name is Satan. Na yuko pamoja na serikali yake tunaita mapepo. And he is with he is a government on those who call them demons. So watu wanatumika kupitia dunia hii. And they all work together in this world. Kama dunia imekubali yale yaliyo ya shetani kuliko yale ya Mungu. The world has uh, has accepted the things of the world instead of the things of God. Ndio maana yale yaliyo mabaya yanaonekana ni mazuri. That's why the things that are all that are bad they seem to be good. Na yale ambayo ni mazuri yanaonekana ni mabaya. And those are good seems to be bad. Sio watu wa Mungu tu. Is it that right? Unatembea huko duniani unajiuliza hivi mtu anaozaje kufanya kitu kama hicho? You walk out in the world you ask yourself what well, how can somebody do stuff like that? Sio yeye yuko chini ya mfumo. It's not them they're under a system. Na kama unawahi kunishikia mara nyingi nikihubiri and if you've heard me many times as I was preaching. Ni kwamba haijalishi mtu ana elimu kiasi gani na nguvu kiasi gani na ufahamu kiasi gani. That system works in everybody who is not born again. Na it doesn't matter how much education you have how many how much money you have that system can work in anybody who is not born again pamoja na watu tunaoitwa wachungaji even those people that we call pastors kama hajaokoka mfumo wa dunia unamwongoza if he is not saved he is being controlled by the system of the world hallelujah amen kushinda to overcome maana yake ni kwamba ni kuinuka juu ya kizuizi is to rise above the obstacle maana yake ni kwamba dunia yenyewe kazi yake ni kuletea vizuizi usiendelee katika safari ya mbinguni means the world brings obstacle for you so that you cannot continue to exercise ni kukushusha chini na kukukatisha tamaa is to bring you down and to destroy your hope na kukwambia wewe unajifanya unajitunza wewe hata rafiki yako amepachikwa mimba look at you if you think you are taking care of yourself but look at your friend is already pregnant Hello nasa kwa ngeko zimai kweli jamaa alikuwa anataka sana kanisani and you're like oh man this person was going to church a lot alikuwa anaimba sana kwaya they were singing the choir a lot alikuwa anaonekana mwaminifu wa neno la Mungu they seem so faithful in the word of god ah na mimi sidhani kama nitaweza i don't think i can jambo hili yanakuambia that's what the world will tell you lakini Mungu anakuambia niangalie huko mwanangu but god is saying look at me my spiritual vitu vizuri ambavyo haujawahi kuviona nimekuandalia i have the lot of great things that i've prepared for you na hivyo vizuri unavyoviona and those obstacles that are ahead of you mwana wangu Yesu Kristo alikuja kumshinda my son Jesus Christ has already overcome them hallelujah amen kushinda to overcome mara yake ni kuinuka zaidi ya vizuri to rise above the obstacle amen amen natamani leo kanisa la Mungu tuondoke hapa tu watu ambao tunaweza kushinda majaribu na dhambi na kila jambo i want us as believers when we leave this uh, the service today that will be people that can overcome sin and all the other things somehow we have solution to every problem we have in the world sasa ile tuko na solution kwa vitu vingine vyote vya hapa duniani lakini kuushinda ulimwengu tunapata shida but to overcome the world it becomes a problems wanaana tunajua mjeda kwenye kwenye diri kwenye nani kwenye jeo sisters we know when you go on a mirror alafu kuna 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 nani people inatoka and you see that there's a little people coming unajua dawa yake ni nini you know what the medicine is ndio eh right 
na wakati mwingine mna vitu ambavyo unaweza mkapaka dakika hiyo hiyo kisionekana na ukaja kanisani unasimama and there's things that you can put out to hide it so that you can come to church sidiwe right When you come to church, we, we can't even see that people at all. Until you go to home and then you take a shower and then you're like, oh. We are very smart on the things of the world except for the things of God. And yet God through the cross has brought solution. Amen. Amen. Tuko pamoja na Mungu. I was there to God. Yes, Mungu amekisha kuleta solution. God has already brought solution. Chochote ambacho dunia inakuletea, everything that the world brings to you, kikwisho kumalizika pale msalaba. It's already been finished on the cross. You don't have to struggle with that thinking, oh, siyo huyu kaka siyo ni mjibu vipi sijui You don't have to struggle and say, oh, I don't know how I'm going to answer this brother or how I'm going to answer this sister. Oh, my boss here wants me to sign here so we can steal money. I don't know what I need to answer them. I told them that I'm going to answer them in about three days. I don't have any answer. 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 There's no need to wait for three days to give an answer. The, the answer is already in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants you to overcome. He wants you to rise above the obstacles. But the devil has come in and tried to pull us down. And he's given us a lot of examples of people who have failed. Uh, you see that pastor over there, that pastor failed. Let your example be Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let Jesus be your example. Amen. Amen. Iman. Your faith. To be smart. Trust in the unseen. Kwa mimi yasionekana. Amen. Amen. Kwa mimi yasionekana. To uh, trust in unseen. Kama yako mambo mema ametuandalia Mungu. That there are good things that God has prepared for us. Kila siku tutembee katika uchi. But we must walk upon our uh, in obedience. Ili tuweze kufikia yale mambo ambayo Mungu ametuandalia. So we can uh, reach to those things that God has uh, prepared for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Kwa hiyo usiwa milele ni bure. So the it, uh, eternal life is is free. 